Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental health. With me, your host, Kadika. Okay, I'm hoping I'm going to be able to um, complete this um, little video that I'm trying to do. Been having a little difficult time since, of course, I have uh, my grandbaby over still, and uh, as I do pretty much every day. But um, with that being said, you know, it's amazing to me. I was talking to some uh, people today, you know, and it's amazing that when you don't participate in a whole lot of stuff with people, they always feel like they can, okay, they can figure you out. Okay, okay. That they can figure you out. And you know, what's really interesting, or that because you don't talk about a lot of degradance that is going on or has going on in your life, they think that you don't go around advertising it, <laughs> that you don't have any sad days or any drama or anything that you've experienced. And to me, that is so crazy because, I, you know, like I had to tell some folks today, I didn't fall from uh, heaven. I'm from hell like everybody else. Um, and some of the same experiences, pretty much every experience that they've experienced, I've probably experienced too. I think one of the main things that I try to talk to young folks about when they were saying, oh, well, you don't know nothing because, you know, we drinking lean now and these young people drink. Yes, and I've done uh, countless of videos about that. Except for when I, and the reason why I can is because when I was coming up in the 70s, it was Robitussin. Okay, and um, we would take the Robitussin and do the same thing that y'all doing with the spray. I mean, with your uh, dirty spray. It's a, it's amazing. Um, not uh, just the a codeine, just the um, Robitussin, but the promethazine. I mean, this stuff is nothing new, the, you know. The thing about it is, we weren't, I guess, crazy enough. I will use the word crazy enough to sing about it on record. Um, I think that most of us that got high, I think it was still a private sort of thing. That's why, um, you know, y'all call it keeping it real, but see, it's it, there's some beauty into not exposing every damn thing about yourself. Nobody needs to know every damn thing about yourself. Neither do nobody need to know all your damn business. And I think that's what's wrong with uh, especially the black community. Because, you know, we've taken the other culture's behavior and we've adapted it as if it's our own. Um, keeping secrets is totally different than keeping your life pretty much your, your life. I don't think it's important, and it has nothing to do with narcissism or any of these things when you had artists that didn't uh, ban Morrison or, or, or whoever else uh, uh, might have been in the 27 uh, Club that might have passed away. It, it wasn't up to them to say, hey, I'm a drug user, and yeah, I like to take... They could if they felt so choose to. Some people um, open those kind of talk about that and discuss it freely. Some people rather go to AA to discuss it. Um, I think it's important that they discuss it, but it doesn't necessarily mean they have to discuss it with you. Okay? And I think that that's a big travesty that we got in our community where we don't have no safe boundary. We just like a house with windows all wide open. Yeah, if it feels good, I do it. Yeah. If you want to know why I'm bouncing, y'all, I'm on my ball. Okay? But, you know, and so this is an issue. It's an issue for me because there are no boundaries. If you don't have no rules, limitations, and boundaries in your life, then you just set yourself, you just swimming in shark-infested waters, basically. And um, I think it's very important that you make some decisions about what behaviors that you're going to engage in 
And when you have a lot of friends that are doing stuff that innately that you know you don't feel comfortable with, you don't have anything to prove to anybody else by participating in any of that stuff. No, and I'm saying it whether I have or not. Uh, it's really your choice. Okay? Now, if you're in a situation where you're telling somebody you feeling like you're being pressured to do something, that's a whole different ball game. So I'm saying this to say that a lot of y'all are saying people that in the older generation didn't do nothing. Ain't nothing y'all doing that y'all think is new that we ain't doing, that we haven't done, okay? Um, and so the thing about it is that's just a way for y'all minds to be separated and to think that you're doing something so remotely original when you just being a bigger fool. You know what I'm saying? I mean, the same kind of bullet that killed Tupac 20 years ago is the same bullet you, you feel what I'm saying? That killed um, XXX. Maybe the circumstances was different. But sometimes when you draw that energy to you, that's what happens. So, uh, you know, you might have had Van Morrison, Janis Joplin, Jimi Hendrix, them over OD and on pills and alcohol, just like you got uh, Amy Winehouse or uh, these young folks now that are drinking stuff to lean and you know, listen, nothing is new under the sun. My thing is, what are you trying to run from? That is my question. Why are you running? And so for those of y'all that say, you know, I ain't had nothing. You ain't had nothing happen to you. You don't know what we're going through. Uh, I say you a lot. But all I'm saying is, what is it that's bothering you that you ain't really dealt with? Because once you find out, that you can't hide it behind the drugs, all the alcohol, all the sex, all that. Trust me, I know I was in sh I was in show business, okay. And the things I experienced in show business, like I told people that want their kids, or parents that want their kids to pursue uh, dreams. If you're not willing to get in there in the trenches, because it's a big difference than your kids singing. And your child being in show business. Okay, I know I digress, but it's the same thing. Know what you getting into. You don't have to experience everything that somebody says you have to experience. Because ain't nothing new. You ain't doing nothing. People died off heroin 40 years ago. Frankie Lyman. Why do, why do birds sing so gay? Oh, did you know how he died? He died of a heroin overdose. Come on. That was in the 50s. Okay. Nothing different under the sun. It was deadly then, it's deadly today. Figure out all that hurt and pain that's going on inside of you. And I don't want you to lose the edge because a lot of times I found out um, a lot of us are afraid to get into therapy and deal with some of the things that's got us there because we lose the edge. We lose the edge on our performance. We lose the edge on our being funny. We lose the edge on it. I get it. But if you're fighting for your life, then you got to make a choice. And just make sure it's the healthiest one that you can. Ain't nothing new. Death ain't new. And we all got to cross that road. Okay? And so now you're not just listening to an old person. You're listening to an ancient person. And I'm telling you the reality of things. Now either take it or leave it alone. But it's the truth. As my friends say, it's the truth. Deal with it. If you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, share, um, and I'll see you next time, right here in the mental.